Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of requests to do some calculus problems. This looks like a fun one, so let's do it. It's the integral of sine cubed x times the square root of cosine x dx. These are the notes we're going to end up using, and if you want to try it on your own, pause it, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, we have a sine cubed right here. There is no sine cubed in the Pythagorean identities. So I want to split this sine cubed into a sine squared times sine, and then let's copy down everything else. After manipulating sine squared plus cosine squared equals one, we can see that sine squared is equal to one minus cosine squared. So I'm gonna substitute for the sine squared a one minus cosine squared. So now we're ready for some u substitution. We're gonna let u equal cosine of x. And then using these other notes, we know that du is gonna be equal to negative sine x dx. So looking up here, we have a sine x and a dx. I wanna get them next to each other. And now that they're next to each other, we have a sine x dx. That's this right here. There is no negative anywhere in here. It's just positive sine x dx. So let's divide both sides by negative one. And that gives us the sine x dx that we have right here. And then this left side will be negative one. So now we're ready to substitute. This one minus cosine squared is gonna become one minus u squared. The square root of cosine x is gonna become square root of u. And this sine x dx is gonna be negative one du. So I'll put the negative one in front and the du right here. And now we've gotten rid of all the trig stuff. So let's change the square root of u into a u to the one half power. And then we're going to want to distribute this to both terms. u to the one half times one is u to the one half. And then we're going to subtract. And then u to the one half times u squared, that's going to be u to the 2.5, or as a fraction, that's u to the five halves. And then we'll copy down the du. So this negative one here, let's bring it inside here. So instead of positive negative, it's going to be negative positive. And now let's take the integral. So for this first term, we're going to add 1 to the exponent, which would be 2 over 2, which becomes 3 over 2. And then we want to divide by that 3 over 2. Plus, and then we're going to do it to the other one. We're going to add 1 to it, which ends up giving us 7 halves. And then we're going to divide by 7 halves. And you never want to forget the plus c. Anytime you have an indefinite integral, you have to remember to do plus c. Now we can just simplify. This over 7 halves can be thought of as divided by 7 halves, or you can think of it as multiplied by 2 sevenths, or in other words, 2 sevenths of this. And same thing for this 3 halves on bottom, it's going to become 2 thirds. And now we're fully simplified, let's plug cosine of x back in for u. This u will become cosine of x, and this u will become cosine of x. And now we're done, let's put a box around it. This indefinite integral is equal to this. And if you guys want to try more u substitution, I have this page on antimath.com with a whole bunch of practice problems. The link is in the description. How exciting.